Hey, I hope you're having a great day now, but maybe you're, you're just feeling maybe a little down. Maybe you're feeling like, like maybe it might, it might be real bad. Maybe you're thinking like nobody cares. We all have those days, don't we? Like, like you don't matter. Like maybe no one notices you. Maybe nobody uh, seems right like to, to care about what's going on in your life. I want you to know that God totally does. Um, and he's got people uh, that are going to reach out to you and that you can reach out to. I pray that that's true for your life uh, because there's nothing worse than, than feeling like no one would choose you. Right? Isn't that the heart of a lot of it? Right? It's, it's not that we don't feel like we're the best. It's, sometimes I don't think it's that uh, shallow, really. I, I think it's a little more deeper than that. I think it's, we, 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 when we get down like that, it's, there's this sense that, like, who would choose me? It's one thing if people tolerate me or, or if people think, well, he's okay and, you know, all right, we'll, we'll let him be on our team or we'll let him be on, in our company or, or in our church or whatever it is. But when somebody says, no, 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 I want that person. And they know all the, the mess that you've got in your life. They know everything that's happening, your limitations, your failures, your, all of those things. And, that, and that's what God does. He chooses us. And that's the message today from Isaiah. We're going to move to Isaiah 41. We're going to be in verse 9 today. Now, the original uh, people who heard this uh, were the people of God, right? The Israelites, uh, the people of Israel. And um, they had really messed up. And, but they were the people that God loved, right? He chose them out of all the nations. They were the smallest. Uh, they probably had the, the most messed up existence in, in, in some ways, but he chose them. And he said, you're my beloved. You're my people. I care about you. And, and so the, 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 the job of the prophets was to remind them that that was true and, and that hopefully that they would turn back to him, that they would live like his people and stop running away and stop uh, you know, ignoring him or, or rebelling against him, but trust him. Uh, and, and not be these rebellious kids. Like, come on, let's get this. And that's what the prophets were trying to do. And in this passage that we're going to read, I think it has everything to, to encourage us as well. Because God chose you, chose me, to send Jesus to die for us, to, to, to make that difference, to change our, our eternal destiny and, and who we are and where we're headed. Uh, look at this, Isaiah 41.9. He says, you whom I took from the ends of the earth. God, that's what God did. Right? He, he, we're, the, the people of God, you know, he, he brings us together, calls us from those furthest corners, because that's how we feel. We feel so far from God and from each other. And he calls us together and he says to us, you are my servant. I have chosen you and I have not cast you off. Because that's how we feel, man. We feel like, like everybody's written us off. They, they, they know what's going on. They see our pain. They see our, our, our issues. And they're like, man, I want nothing to do with you. God says, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save you from that. I want to rescue you. I want to change you. I want to I renew you. I want to give you life. I sent my son Jesus to, to give his life for you so that you could be forgiven and free and loved and headed for eternity. He's, that's what God wants for you. That's his goal. That's his plan. And he chose you. How cool, man. Just say that to myself. I'm, I'm chosen by God. That's the beauty of the gospel. That, that's this thing that maybe we don't talk about it enough. That the Lord of the universe would choose me. And he's not fooled. He's not fooled by, by, me, by the ways I try to dress myself up or the way that you try to dress yourself up and make yourself look better and maybe try to hide some of the things. He knows all of it. And yet he sent Jesus to die for us. And he wants us to see that all that mess, it doesn't define us. It's not who we are. It's certainly not where we're headed. He's, he's put that to death. He's defeated it. All of it. Anything that would separate us from him, has been robbed of its power, has been defeated, has been destroyed 100%. No doubts, it's all there. How awesome is that? And he chose you. So, so take heart, uh, be, be at peace with, with what God has done and what he's doing in your life. Take some time today. Maybe you're on vacation, no matter what you're doing, just thank God for this. 
to take some time and really, really let yourself think about it and, and let it just kind of enter into the deepness of your, deep depths of your soul that you know how much He cares, how much He loves you. Instead of listening to all of the, the, the things that say, oh, no one would choose you, r- remember, He did. And He does every day. Every day you can wake up and say, man, He chooses me. And so I'm going to choose Him. I'm going to choose to live for Him, choose to do things His way, with His power, with His strength, with His love, with His mercy, with His forgiveness. All right, I'm Pastor Fred. This is the follow-through. Hit that subscribe button. And if this has been helpful to you, please share it with someone in your life. There's an easy way to do that. So please, let's, let's get after it, and uh, we'll see you next time.